day one of being programmed properly back on track it was fun i must admit like i've alluded to before nothing beats having a plan right nothing beats having something to aim for before you even walk through the door of the gym or the door of your home gym or wherever it may be that you're going to get your session done knowing this is what i have to do this is what i want to achieve and i'll be proud if i do a b c is an unparalleled feeling right it's so easy to focus it's so easy to focus you get your head down you get your work done simple and i've missed it i'll be honest i really have missed it as i've spoken about a lot recently this is the longest time in which i've gone without a plan and it took its toll towards the end to be completely honest it really did like i started to lose enjoyment for training like nothing beats walking in and walking out having feeling like you feeling like you haven't accomplished anything right and even if you worked hard like all right cool you just you just worked hard for the sake of working hard you didn't work hard towards any particular goal you didn't work hard for any specific endeavor so even though today was very simple um and i believe the first week or so um as i've spoken to as i've spoken about with my coach will be quite simple right he has to learn me i have to learn him i have to learn how he works i have to learn the little nuances of how he works tendencies what he likes to do what he tends to do so on and so forth and he has to learn how i move figure out my limitations, figure out my strong points, my weak points, figure out how to get the best out of me, simply put. And that's going to take time. I would have been (laughs) over the moon yet sceptical if I had been sprinting on the first day and doing some crazy intense session on the first day because, yeah, it would have been fun to do something gut busting and extremely hard working of course like i have i feel like i haven't worked hard in a month now so i'm kind of starved of that feeling however i would have had to to question the um the integrity of of my coach if he threw me straight into the deep end to see if i could sink or swim like it just doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that all right well if someone's gonna coach you they need to first learn you right anybody who's taught anybody anything this is something that i learned from having a dog and training a dog in particular is that you first must observe your student the best teachers observe their students first there is absolutely no point in trying to teach an elephant to climb a tree because he can reach the top of the tree with his trunk so the wise teacher acknowledges the fact that right i must teach the elephant differently to the monkey because they have two different skill sets i can't begin to teach you if i don't first observe you that's just an ever-present rule of life whether it be in friendships relationships parenthood a student first even if it's just your child i say just your child Every child is different, right? Just because a way of teaching one child work doesn't mean it's going to work on the next child. So I really appreciate that. I really appreciate how thorough he was with his questioning, how complex he was with his questioning, and how... What's the term I'm looking for? How... (laughs) Ah, I've lost my train of thought. But he was very, very, very adamant that I continuously contact him and I continuously ask him questions. And we work together in order to develop, first and foremost, in order for him to first and foremost develop a high level understanding of me. And secondly, for us to develop an understanding of our coach student relationship. And I appreciate that a lot, man. I appreciate that a lot. And I really look forward to working with him. I'm going to put like the links to all his stuff in all my videos for as long as he's my coach. He'll be coaching me for the next six months. Um, so there's going to be a whole lot of videos with his his details in the bio. But um, yeah, man, it should be fun. Today was nice and simple. It was literally just I, I what I imagined 
him figuring out where I'm mobile, where I'm not mobile, some real basic stuff. But that's basics aren't bad. Basics aren't like negative in any capacity. Like it was basic, but it was actually fun to be fair. Um it was actually yeah, it was actually really fun. There was a couple pieces of fairly hard work. Um I could have pushed myself a little bit more if I'm being brutally honest, but I kept it fairly humble. Um, the only real like difficult work that was done today was RDLs and goblet squats, which was nice. It was it was nice to do that again. And yeah, my knee feels good. He knows about my knee. So yeah, man. Anyway, let me stop waffling. Let me not take any more of your time. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's nice to be back. It's nice to be back. It's nice to be back. Um, I'm back properly because. Yeah, it was getting a little bit tedious, I must admit. It was getting a little bit tedious. But if you made it this far, thank you very, very much. And I shall see you tomorrow.